didn't hit till Wednesday night. Today's Friday. We still don't have power and it's kind of cold today, so we're just burning old paperwork and tax records and old, old junk we don't need anymore. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Today we're going to talk about Hurricane Zeta and how she affected us. You may recall in a previous video I mentioned that we've never so much as lost a lid during a hurricane. Oh no! <laughs> There's a lid up there. I don't know where it came from. This is an empty stack here. This is an active colony didn't lose the lid. It's cool today, so they're not flying very much. And this is an active colony that didn't lose their lid. It's all propolized. See the layers of propolis holding everything together? The rest of this is empty equipment. I'm surprised it's not on the ground. This also is an active colony. With a Saracel feeder sitting up top. Well, it's weighted down with water. All of my colonies at this point are pretty heavily honey loaded and well propolized because I hadn't pulled anything apart in a little bit. So they could easily withstand anything that came at them aside from a tree falling on them. However, my dad's didn't fare so well and I'll show you that in just a little bit. First, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Uh, we got into a comic book. This just in from Akari Press. A signed first edition of Brand. Signed by the author Antonio Bryce and the illustrator Kanan White. Let's pull this thing out of the sleeve and see where we're at in it. How did you end up in a comic book, you may ask? Well, Antonio Bryce, the author, was researching beekeeping as he was writing this piece. And one of the main characters is a beekeeper. Right there. A little bit of beekeeping in the book. So Antonio contacted me a couple years ago and asked me could he put me in as a uh, small cameo part in the book. I said, heck yeah. So that's how we ended up in this book. There we are. I had to find it. Too hard one-handed flipping and recording. Look <laughs> how jacked I look though. Let me zoom in on some details. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna put the link down below where you can go order one if you want them. There's my wife, not afraid of heights. <laughs> we have been working our tails off. Hey, Daddy. We gotta go next door. Daddy says he got some hives turned over. I gotta go get them stood back up. Don't put the supers back on it. It was time to strip them off a month ago. Okay. Yeah, this stuff's light. I, I knew if it blew over, it must not have had much in it. It's light on stores, light on bees. Of course, Dad's been laid up. He hadn't been able to do anything. I'm surprised he was outside just now. That's the most walking he's done in a month. It ain't got nothing in it. Huh? Got bees in it, but it ain't got no honey in it. That's why I blew over it. Ain't got no weight to it. Of course, that yard right there in front of me, you see the size of his trees. He lost about a dozen of those big trees. They either broke off or uprooted. So maybe, maybe a tornado. But I think straight line winds more than likely. It was a category two when it came through Hurricane Zeta Jones. We've been putting in some, some work today. 64 degrees right now, temperature's dropping. I'm still sweaty. <laughs> We've been working. You need a suit? Do I need a suit? Probably so. It's 64 degrees, they ain't flying, bro. 64 degrees, they'll be out there tearing your arms up. I was gonna save this unboxing for another day. 
But today's the day we need it. Saracel. <laughs> oh, yes, pink flowers. They're large. Yeah, that's for Pete. But I figured it might fit you for. Pete may not get it. <laughs> <laughs> Saracel sent us some suits as well as something we'll have to demo. Whoop. Gloves, too. I think that's gloves. No, that's not gloves. There's the gloves right there. They also sent us some of their rounds for shallow boxes. We gotta get these drawn out and I'll do a demo on those in the summer when we're harvesting. Oh, this is foundation for the rounds. Oh, sweet. I didn't know sending foundations. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, save me some trouble. This came from Saracel in New Zealand. Thank you so much, Saracel. We're about to test these high, these suits out. This is a new suit that they've got. A new veil type or hood type. I'm not, not sure how they're calling it. This is a 5X and the hood flips back or something. I gotta figure it out. He, I, I just briefly looked at it in an email. Got a left-handed zipper. From the other side of the world. Oh, y'all are skinny people over there. If it's got a left-handed zipper and pink flowers, that's a woman's left-handed <laughs> Gonna make me lose weight. I don't often reveal my weight, but it's somewhere in the neighborhood of three. So this is what you gotta have if you're a big boy. This is a 5X. Tommy's fixing to try on Pete's large, I think. You probably wear extra large, don't you? We're gonna see how this fits on you. <laughs> oh, that fits you looser than the 5X fits me. But. Well, I was hoping we could look like twins. <laughs> yeah. They do make a larger suit than this, by the way. So if you're rounder than me, might go up to six or seven i think they make up to a 10x if i'm not mistaken not too bad yeah that's pretty good 5x plenty long enough for working in my back's not getting uncovered if i bend over Sorry, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peel the sticker off of it. <laughs> oh, it's got uh, overlapping snap pockets. That's nice. And it's got hand pockets, which I really like. I like that a lot. If you're standing there with no gloves on and you're watching somebody else work, where do your hands go? Right there. But right now, we got work to do. This is Randy and Tommy starting to clean up some of the beehives that were blown over during the storm. Stuff scattered everywhere. I don't know what we'll wind up with, but it's not good, especially for the bees. How's that suit feel? It's pretty good. The hood, more than anything, is what's important to me because you get these hoods out of shipping, like from Man Lake, the hood's collapsing. It never falls open. You got to wear a hat under it all the time. This thing, straight out of shipping or straight out of the package, falls away from your face and stays off your face. So I like that. Good. The suit feels pretty good though. Feels yeah. like a feels like a Carhartt jacket. <laughs> Bottom box instead of that second one. Yeah, we can. This is fucking tough. 
because they ain't going to move down. They aren't going to move down. Is that cutout we did? One of the cutouts we did in that mobile home. Yeah, that cottage out on Highway 53. Yeah, yep. bees are jumping on me pretty good. They ain't getting through there. Mm-mm. Yeah, bottom of mm -hmm. I'd almost swear a bear did this, but we don't have bears around here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Be careful next time you come over here. There's about three or four broke jars back here. Okay. I'll have to get back over here later and do some more cleaning. I still got some busted windows to go cover up and a few other things to do tonight. Of the 10 hives, I didn't even count them, but I think he said it was 10 hive boxes knocked over. Of the 10, that looked like they were probably six live. Two of them that are still alive were those mobile home removals that we just did the last two videos I showed you, I think. So that's where they are. So I gotta get them fed up, get them back in shape. They lost a lot of bees. I tell you, both of those cutout hives were heavy with bees when I brought them over here. And there's, there's enough in both of them to cover three frames, maybe. We got an almost full moon tonight night after the hurricane i'm thankful for the temperatures dropping because with no power we're not able to run the air conditioner and it's still pretty warm down here it's been in the 80s during the day today it stayed in the low 70s which i was really appreciative of and tonight it's supposed to get down into the high 40s that'll be nice slide under a blanket just be as comfortable as ever It was only one. No, nah, just a big limb off of it. A gigantic limb out of it. Messed up your Katrina roof, though. Hey, come back here and fix the fence. The dogs are getting out. There's a leaner. That one's gonna have to come down. Oh, dude. That was the prettiest tree on the property and it's about uprooted. Checked on all the neighbors. Everybody's good. Trees down. Sheds tore up. My neighbor's got her roof pretty badly damaged and leaking. Cleared the road a little bit. Now I gotta go check on my place. able to drive around a few I ain't getting through there tonight Let's see if I can go around there's kind of a soft spot on the side of the road over here so I got it in four wheel drive 